What's up guys? Fish Keeper is here with another review on the light. So I just found this guy. Well, actually I found it like a week and a half ago, about a week ago. I found this deal on um, these lights, these LED clip-on lights. And, uh, and the reason I bought them was, well, there's a few reasons why I bought this. One of them is I'm trying to find a way to spend less, right, for the hobby. Uh, spend less in the hobby or I guess just save money and uh, I was trying to get another Chihiro's LED light like that one over there I think that that lights really good superior for its budget now it's $35 for that thing about $40 ish somewhere around there wherever you find it if you find it have it on Amazon and eBay <clears throat> and after looking for a, looking for a while on Amazon, I realized that there was another company selling something very similar. Uh, that company is called Torch Star. It's labeled Torch Star on Amazon and on eBay. And they were selling individuals for about $20. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a good deal. They look the same. I said, what are the chances that this light is made in, this, in the same manufacturer or from the same manufacturer as that light to the Chai Heroes, right? They're both made in China. So I figured, let's try to get one and see what it's like. Now, I was gonna buy a $20 one pack, but then I saw that they had a two pack for $30 on eBay. On Amazon, it's still like $30, $35 for two, which is not bad, but I wanted to use PayPal credit, so I went with eBay. <clears throat> um, so I bought this two pack, I think it ended up being like 33 or something like that, under $35 for two of these, which is the price of one Chihiro C-Series. Chihiro's, I don't know how to pronounce it, but two of these, same price as one of those. So I figured I have to try it out. At the very least, what would happen is I would have two lights that I could use. Now, I did want to put one on my UNS 5N tank. That's you know, that rimless tank that's aquascaped in my, uh, in my, my personal room, in my bedroom. And uh, because the Phoenix that I had on there just was not good. I sold that Phoenix off. I already placed one of these on there. I love it. <clears throat> so let's get to the unboxing. This is not going to be an, a review. This is going to be an unboxing and a comparison in price. And I want you guys to see this video, watch it and think, should I get a to Heroes or should I get one of these? You know, it's fun to experiment with different brands and I want to experiment with this one. So Torchstar, like I said, I found them on Amazon. Um, a long time ago, I remember that I, that I had seen it and I was like, wow, I should probably check it out. I didn't have a need for another light at that moment, but now I do. Now that my Phoenix is kind of crappy, I was like, I need to get another light. So so I found these guys, I, I bought these, it's here. And just looking at the specs, it looks like what I remember the Chihiro's box was like. Uh, I just, if you want to look at that unboxing of my Chihiro C-Series, it's in, it's, in my like past in my past videos go down there look it up look at the boxing i'm pretty sure it's all of this same stuff ip65 waterproof all that pretty sure it's pretty much spot on the only difference between this one and that one over there is that this one's longer now they make long versions of this light and short ones uh chai heroes just started doing the same thing they make like, I think a 20 centimeter all the way up to a 40 centimeter. And this one is, I believe 30, somewhere around 12 inches. So I bought the 12 inch ones. I believe Torch Store only sells the 12 inch one. I don't think they sell the smaller ones, although I might be wrong. But upon like looking at their, like not reviews, but like their Amazon store, I noticed that they sell a lot of lighting stuff, just light based stuff, like LED stuff. So I figured, okay, you know, they might, do good. They these might actually be the people who provide lights for Ch Chihiros or whatever. So I'm excited to see what's going on with this. So let's read it off. Uh, Thirty thousand hours. You know, twelve volts. IP65 waterproof. I'll show you that right now. Five watts. Uh, View case material is aluminum. CCT. I'm not too sure. Fifteen thousand. I think that's the Kelvin, right? Four hundred lumens. Uh, Sixty LEDs in this one. Uh, that's the working temperature in Fahrenheit. There's a two-year warranty, which, you know, we'll see. And uh, inside you'll see two packs. One of them I already opened, so there's nothing in here. Kind of cool that they provide this do not 
to not whatever if it's uh, broken. Otherwise, I can break the seal, pick it out without any problem. Now I do have to mention that the other the Chai Heroes, I believe they had Samsung LEDs, <clears throat> which I don't know if that makes a difference, but I remember their individual box like this says Samsung LEDs on, and these don't. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't see anywhere where it says it's. Uh, Samsung, let's see. No, you might have to pause that and read all that, guys, but I don't see anywhere where it says Samsung. So that might be the only difference. This is that's one of the reasons why one of the things that shows me that maybe this is not completely the same. I think the technology and the casing is, you know, the L angle, the clips. I think everything is the same except for the LEDs. I'm not again, I don't know, I don't get money for this, so I, I wouldn't really know. Seal has not been broken, but kind of doesn't matter. Let's check it out. Here it is. All right. That's the cable, some instructions. We don't need that. Toss that out. This is what we need. All right. So off the bat again, like I got, like I mentioned to you guys, I need to, I just need to throw this out. This is a longer model than the Chihiros that I have, but Chihiros also makes this length model. All right, so off the bat, like I said, they are different lengths. You can see that right there. But everything over here looks exactly the same. This is wet because I had it on the tank right now and accidentally splashed when I was unscrewing. But they're made almost the same. The, the little plastic bolts are the same. This part right here is plastic, so is this. Uh, the only aluminum part is this backing right here, and so is this guy. And that is only because that's where the heat goes, so they can use plastic there. And uh, aluminum here, aluminum here. Uh, sticky, like laminate, kind of like waterproofing sealant. Same thing here. Here is a lot gummier because it hasn't had exposure to the light yet. So that's why this is a lot fresher. But I remember if you look at my unboxing video for this guy, for the old Chihiros, this was gummy right here, kind of. And it is right now with this one. Same exact look, it looks the same. The finish is a little bit different now. Excuse the dirtiness over here, it's been used. But uh, this is more of a rough matte feel versus this is like a sleek aluminum, like against the grain kind of feel. I think you kind of feel like woodish kind of aluminum, brushed aluminum. There you go, brushed aluminum black. So uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same. I would bet that they came from the same manufacturer i mean i'm i if i was a betting man i'd say they're probably like 80 percent the same now the leds are different as i said that one dates and on their box their hero says that the, they use sony now they might not be using sony anymore i have had this guy for uh, over a year now so maybe they're not using you know Sam, sorry did i say sony samsung sorry samsung leds uh these guys they don't say what leds are using so we're gonna just say they're using George Star LEDs, right? That's so. Uh, so yeah, this is the first impression. Just unboxing it. I will now hook it up and show you the difference, and we can go from there. So guys, here is the regular Chai Heroes. Chai Heroes looks good. Nice, vibrant. I haven't adjusted any kind of like coloration or anything in my video. It's just how it is. I can focus and not focus. Add some contrast if we need to. It looks good. It looks really good. Auto focus makes the plants look good. It looks, looks nice and bright. People compliment this tank because of the colors and how good the lighting is. Now let's hook up the the new Torch Star. All right, guys. So here's the Torch Star. Um, first impression. I think it's a little. It's a tiny bit more bluish. So that's would be the that would be I'm pretty sure because the LEDs are a different brand. But intensity looks just as good. It looks just as bright. It's just a little bit more of a blue tint to it, which I gotta say I kind of like. I do kind of like that it's a little bit more blue. Uh, some people might not like this because it might make some other plants look a little different. But just to show you guys that it's probably just as bright on the just the brightness and contrast and stuff. Just so you guys can see like difference or whatever and then I'll auto, I'll auto again so I believe 
the big difference is that the Chai Heroes has a little bit more of a yellowish tint. Just a tiny bit more. Or I guess you could say the Torch Star has a little bit more of a blue, blue tint to it. So, uh, yeah. From what I can see, it's, it looks like a nice buy. I think I scored on this one, guys. Now, I still have to find out if this light heats up like the Chai Heroes. The Chai Heroes, which I have right here, this thing stays warm. It just stays hot right up here. When you plug it in, it's, it's, it runs hot. And that's what the reviews have been like everywhere. Uh, the reviews on these guys on Amazon say the same thing. So we'll see, uh, I have it up right now and I could feel nothing, no real warmth yet. Whereas with this guy, with this guy, everybody felt some heat. So I'm gonna let it run for a little while and see what's up. Again, I'm gonna be up doing another video probably couple weeks from now uh, to see how my plants have been responding and uh, we'll go from there now we're gonna go to my other tank which is the UNS 5N where I will be placing one of these lights at here in this tank I'm gonna keep the tri heroes because it's a perfect size as you can see there's some leftover and that's because this is for a little bit of a longer tank so I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna take this guy to its final destination and we'll do a comparison we'll do a comparison with this guy again and this light to get you an idea and again the goal of this video is to get you guys to save money if you can if you want to experiment on a cheaper priced light that looks like it's made basically from the same manufacturer but we don't completely know for all i know these guys used to use samsung leds and they started using you know this led now and for all I know, Chai Hero switched from Samsung to the same crap, <laughs> you know? I was gonna cuss, but trying not to cuss on the videos. So, I'm gonna try this guy out. Uh, I, I don't care, at this point, it was a steal. $15 a piece with some change taxes. It's gonna be awesome. I actually have a family member that wants one already. They're gonna pay me like 20 bucks for it. So, already paid for itself. The Phoenix clip-on light that I had is nothing compared to this. So that one I already sold as well. So this is all basically free for me. I paid, you know, $34, $33 for two. Someone's gonna pay me $20 for one. And I sold my Phoenix for like 20 bucks. So that right there pays for everything. So I'm excited. They look good. Uh, and we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna take it to my other tank now. Really quick guys, before I head over to my tank where I'm gonna be showing you another side-by-side -side comparison, of the two tri of the tri heroes versus the torch star light i do have to mention and this might already solve the problem for a lot of us and it's kind of making me feel a certain way but i won't talk about it until the end uh, i have to mention this so this is the power adapter situation for the torch star it's just a uh, this a little switch cheap cheap whatever looking fine and here is the beefy power supply now it does feel light it's not i've felt bigger so power supply so it's not against that hefty but that's the supply we're using with the chai hero so there's a big there's a difference in amperage there's about two amps more on this guy don't know how that translates to lighting completely honestly i don't really know i'm not the i'm not i don't know <laughs> i don't know about electricity and amperages and what how that translates to lumens and you know kelvins and stuff so i wouldn't know completely but that's comparison so right there this this makes you feel like this probably has more power than this guy but like i said i'm showing you comparisons so you can see hey if this torch star is maybe 10 percent 20 percent less bright or less good at growing plants because that's the end goal right the end goal is to get to just grow some nice vivid plants if this guy gets you there at a the fraction of the price and saves you money well, I guess I said the same thing twice. Uh, then maybe you don't have to buy this one. But I just want to show you power supply wise, this guy versus this little guy. So there's that. Now let's go look at the comparison on my UNS run this tank. All right, here we are guys. Excuse how dirty my tank is. I haven't done a nice glass cleaning in a while, but this is the Chai Heroes. I have both of them mounted next to each other. Only one of them is on right now and that's the Chai Heroes. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get a, like a nice outside. Don't mind this ugly chair over here. Sorry about that. It's a foldable chair. We just went to the beach, so. So this is it. I just auto focused on my phone. 
I'm picking different locations to autofocus and it's gonna adjust color. And now let's look at how it looks with the torchlight. So here is the torchlight, a lot more white. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot more white going on. But once you focus, you can see this red really stood out as soon as I focused, right? That's because we're using a little bit more of a bluish white color compared to the Chihiro's who's using more of a white leaning a little towards the red. This guy is more white leaning towards blue. So it's a little bit different in LEDs. And I think that's what you're seeing here. But I mean, they both look good. They're just a different hue, you know, just a different kind of bluish or or reddish. Um, now, I don't know which one will translate to better growth. Uh, like I said, what I had here was a Phoenix Planet Clip-On Light, and I did, it just wasn't cutting it. And this one already looks a lot better. I like it. It's making me look at my tank more. And from a distance, I, I look at my tank and I'm like, well, that looks kind of cool. And then, you know, my wall is white in it back, so it makes it look like I, I applied some kind of nice background or something. So it's like a contrast back there. So this is the light right here, guys. Now I am gonna show you one more time a uh, comparison, but just the torch light this time on my CO2 tank to see if it's worth leaving on there. I always I always want an additional light for my CO2 tank because I really want to get those vivid colors in my plants. Uh, it is CO2, so I do I can actually put more uh, light in there. So let's go try that out really quick, and then we'll call it quits for there for that, and then we'll uh, I'll talk about how I feel about it at the end. What's up? So here is the cobalt tank with the CO2 in it. It's a mess right now. I need to trim a lot of these plants, but I wanted to show you guys what kind of a, uh, I wanted to just show you guys the process of, sometimes I, I try to put in a second light in here for a couple months or so, just to really grow out my plants, especially since I got this Pantanal. I really want to grow it as fast as I can to you know propagate it and have enough just in case it decides to die on me or whatever but that's it's not how plants work but that's just how my mind wants to work <clears throat> so in here I'm gonna see what it looks like when I turn on the torch star just just to see if maybe I want to add permanently add it to this tank wow all right I actually kind of like it it is providing a good amount of light especially up in front my paw fly this guy right here is about, it's a little over a year. It's probably the same age as the Chihiro's that I have on my desktop. And uh, it's starting to really show its age. And I think that's happening all throughout all my LED lights. At one year mark, one and a year and a half mark, they're starting to kind of lose output. So I'm a little afraid about that. And, but I'm gonna have a surprise for this. Well, I'm not gonna have a surprise. I'm basically gonna, I'm saving enough I'm trying to breed enough shrimp, either tangerine tigers, blue dreams, to be able to go purchase a twin star with store credit. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in this tank. So hopefully I get to that, but there's a few goals that I need to reach before I get that. There's a few other things I wanna do before that. So I might not get that right away, although I really want to. So, but I might actually leave this, this torch star here. For now, I really like the way it's just brightening up everything. My Rosenvog down here was starting to turn green because my paw fly is just not putting out enough. Like if I turn it off, it's kind of shaded over here in the front a little. I know the Anubias is up here kind of just taking up space. Let me just shake off the stream. I need to take it out of there anyways. But either way, my my Rosenvog is starting to look green. And that's not algae, that's just it not having enough light. So I really want to get to the point where I don't have that. So I might actually just, I, I know I say actually a lot, but I, that's how I talk. I will probably just put this on uh, a couple hours a day, maybe three or four hours a day, along with what the paw fly is already doing, just to get an extra amount of light down there. In the past, I did add my Chihiro's here, and I had it on here for a while, for a couple months, and it was doing a phenomenal, pheno <laughs> it was doing a great job. <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking today. It was doing a great job. It was actually lighting up all the plants up here. That's one of the reasons why the Sturgani down, Sturgani repens started spreading, because I had the Chahiros up here. So this tank, I mean, sorry, this light would probably be a good addition. Although, like I said, I did kind of sell it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might actually just completely sell it, like I, I was going to. 
or I might keep it here. Depends on a lot of things. So that's that. But I love this light, guys. I think it's a really good deal. If you guys are looking for a cheap light for most nano tanks, or if you don't want to spend so much money and you, you want to try it out, you know, be my guest. I'll try to leave it in the description. I'm sorry, a link in the description. But, you know, Amazon links and eBay links change a lot, so I can't really guarantee that it'll be that same price and stuff. And again, I'm not affiliated with them. I just happen to like the lights. Uh, it seems to work for this, this tank. It goes pretty deep. Let's see if I turn it off, how good it will look. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's good. It's a good light. For whatever you want to throw it at. Uh, again, if you do it in shallow tanks, you might get more growth out of them. But definitely look out for the sizing. There's like four or five different sizes. They range from, I think, 20 centimeters to 40, 45 centimeters. So, the, you know, look out for that. Torch Star, I only saw the 30 and I think 40 centimeters. So, you know, figure that out if you want. But uh, yeah, guys, so $30, you know, $33, whatever with taxes for two decent lights to me sounds like a steal so if you're looking for lights maybe you want to check out the torch star right i mean look at how blinding this is wow sure i can't even look at it all right guys so i'll leave you with that torch star leds uh peace like and subscribe if you can guys and hit the notification bell look at this cool pantanal